Okay guys, I'm going to try to do another video today. I'm going to try to do a two part mold, plaster mold for um, making bait. So um, that way you'd have a round bait instead of a bait with a flat side for hand pouring. So we're going to try it. Some of the things you're going to need, you're going to need a pan put your, uh, to pour your plaster in. You're going to need some plaster, um, some oil. Got me some oil. You're going to need a couple of wooden dials here. Or, uh, some people use, uh, I think, popsicle sticks or something like that. Uh, you need some petroleum jelly, like Vaseline. Um, and you need a prototype, a bait. This is one of my, my new prototypes. Um, I got some more stuff over there and some other ones that I've done. I use Super Sculpey. Um, I like it. it it's real pliable you can really do a lot with it and it never gets hard unless you bake it and you can bake it and make it hard as a rock so um, then you can really work on it and sculpt it thin by grinding sanding or whatever you want to do so part one uh, these are the things you need and I'm gonna go ahead and give me some plaster poured up mixed up I'm sure you know how to do it if you don't there's videos on how to do that and I'm going to put um, the first part of my mold together. So those are some of the things that you need to start off with. And this video is probably going to be segmented. I'm probably going to have to cut it up in pieces or whatever. But um, just so you'll understand kind of what I'm doing. So here we go. Okay guys, uh, one of the first things you need to do is get your bait, your, your uh, prototype. I like to put it in my pan to make sure it's going to fit, everything's going to work good. I take my oil and I oil my clay bait, it's, it's soft, it's still soft, and I oil it real good all over so that it's not going to stick to the plaster. So step one is go ahead, oil your clay mold, I'm going to oil both sides get it real good and oily and I'm going to set it aside and then pour me some plaster in here whenever I get my plaster in here then I'm going to put my I'm going to put my prototype and push it in about halfway so that'll be the next step so let me go ahead and get this oiled up and then we'll go to the next step okay guys I got my plaster I got a little bit of it made up. It's real, real liquidy right now. I like it to start off liquidy. Um, it just, to me, it gives it more of a satin, a smoother finish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour into my pan. This aluminum pan, so it's not going to stick to it. So I'm going to fill it about half, about half full. Try to get some of the bubbles, get the bubbles out. You don't really want the bubbles. And I'm just going to let this harden up. Whenever it gets hard enough to hold the bait up, then I'm going to put my bait in. So I'll get back with you and show you that step. Okay, guys. Um, I think it's, it's getting close to where to hold it up. So let's see. To hold the dial up. Hopefully, y'all can see this. So I have my bait and I have it oiled. I'm going to lay it in like this and I want I want this part here this end of the bait to be kind of close up to the edge not real close quarter of an inch half an inch from the edge there and then I just want to that's too much just get it make sure that the bait is down about halfway all the different little pieces here Let's 
too much, so I had to pull that up just a little bit. So that looks pretty good right there. I think it's, I think it's down in there, good enough where I need it at. So I'm gonna leave that part alone now. And I'm gonna take the wooden dowels and stick these in. And what they're going to do is after the mold's made, it's going to give you a, like a guide. So you'll be able to see it at the end how when the other piece, when you slip it on, these are going to have holes here that's going to let it line up real good. You could put indentions in it here to where the other uh, part will fill it in, but I'm going to use my dials here and hopefully that will come out good. So that's the next step so I'll get back with you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this harden I'm not gonna touch it again till it gets completely hard and I can unmold it after I can unmold it and really work with it then I'll show you the next step Okay guys, my um, my mold has dried up, it's hard enough where I can start working with it again. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was aluminum foil, I just used a little bit of aluminum foil just to put it kind of around the corners where none of the bait is and put it right back in the mold. That just kind of helps to, when you take the mold apart, when the two When the two plaster pieces, when you separate them, it just gives you a little something where where it breaks apart real good. The next step, I've oiled my bait again. A lot of oil, I don't want it sticking. So I've oiled my bait again real good, but the next thing you need to do, is you need to make it to where when you pour your next bit of plaster, that the plaster doesn't stick to itself. That's where the Vaseline or the petroleum jelly comes in. You take, and you smear it over the whole thing real good and get a good coating over it especially your wooden dials because you're not wanting you want the dials to stick to the bottom but you don't want them to stick to the top you want it to be able to slide on and off so next thing I'm doing here is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to put Vaseline over the whole thing and get it real good and greasy and then the, <laughs> then the next thing we'll do is we'll just mix up some more uh, plaster and pour that so that'll be the next step so i'm gonna go ahead and finish putting the vaseline all over <laughs> 